I saw that you already told Mike Bloom that Jesse lied and said Carla has the knowledge's power. Therefore, that's why you handed your idol back. How long before the tribal council did he tell you that? You know, I, I had the idol. I uh, got it from him. Um, it was just a couple hours before. And the whole time, Carla unknowingly was part of the storm saying, hey, let's go into tribal with our idols and show everybody that we got them and we're going to play them. And I'm like, this ain't adding up. She's wanting me to come in there and parade around with this idol. Mom number one is telling me she may have a knowledge is power. There's never been a knowledge is power played in the game yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust my man, my main guy here, and give it back to him mm. because... I didn't see him playing that as an option, you know? And um, I wanted to give it back to him at that point as well, because that was also a token of our trust. And by keeping that at that time, then probably puts a red light on him going, well, what has Cody got planned? Okay. So, brutal. Brutal. Uh, did you want to go to the end with Jesse? Yeah. Okay. Did you think you could beat him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gabe Blair planted the seed to Cassie and Jesse that they need to get rid of their closest allies to differentiate their game. Did he ever talk about that strategy with you? And what do you think of Gabe Blair's strategy in general? I mean, Gabe made a comment. Obviously, nothing was ever acted upon thereafter. It was maybe, I don't know if people didn't take it serious or what, but Jesse and I maneuvered the game very well in the sense we didn't show anybody that we were communicating and and uh, navigating and influencing people's decisions. And, uh, you know, Gabriel made that comment, nothing happened. And when I aligned with Gabriel, when, when the move was made yesterday, Gabriel was my insurance policy. I thought that if something went sour, Gabler was going to be the one to sound the alarms and be like, hey, Cody, because the plan was never fully articulated to a Gabler. It was the same as always. Hey, bro, let's go for this person. Okay, okay. So by that, by not telling him the full plan, I thought that there was a insurance plan there that if Jesse decided to do something crazy, Gabler would have informed me, but um, that didn't happen. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why was your focus on getting out um, Cassie and Carla over the other castaways? Both of them were threats, huge threats, right? I mean, to me, Owen was kind of the, he couldn't, he just kept getting on the wrong side of boats. Yep. So what well, to me, it wasn't a big threat. I didn't think Gabler was a, a big threat in the game either. You know, he won a challenge, but really kind of, snoozed a lot during the day you know crew didn't do a whole heck of a lot so there wasn't a lot of threat challenge or strategy going on there carla proved her wittiness in that boat against cassidy when she found that we were all voting for sammy and trying to throw her under the bus by voting for Cass. so like that point i was like this girl's won some challenges she's got some alliances there on the on the jury She's obviously smart enough to do that kind of stuff. And she's been holding an idol and didn't play it, and even though getting votes. So she had some nerve. And Cass was a challenge threat. You know, Cass was in every challenge. You know, if she wasn't winning it, she was getting second. I mean, even the water, the everything. So to me, that was a, a, a threat there. And I knew she had a couple of really tight people on the jury. Yeah. Okay. You made Carla a walking stick. Was that part of your game strategy or it was just something to do? You're trying to be nice. What's, what's going on? A damn on? good walking stick is what that was. It's pretty. <laughs> um, so I came up with the plan for Carla, right? Like that was the idea. Uh, you know, let's, let's have, not have Carla play her idol and then we'll get her out. So I hyper-focused my attention that day on Carla. Okay. And trying to make sure that she was convinced that this was going to happen. And part of that was her ankle was hurting and bothering her and uh, thought I'd make her walk and stay. Unfortunately, all that focus on her then allowed everybody else to strategize against me behind my back. Got it. Um, how did you feel watching Jesse cry saying he loved you, but he needs the million for his family? Uh, no comment. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I get it. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't blame him for the movie made. He had to do it. It was the right move. I cannot fault him for that. Um, you know, as the guy on the bunt end, it, it's just tough to, I didn't think morally it was an option. You know, I, I, I didn't think it, you know, it's survivor, it's a game. And, uh, you know, that's on me, but, um, we all need the damn money, you know? <laughs> Shit, we all need the money. I got family, I got friends, I got bills. Like, nobody needs that money any differently than anybody else. So, I get it. Yeah. It's very possible that your blind side is going to be added to a list of the biggest moves in the new era of this game. How does it feel that you might be remembered on... Well, I think you're a memorable character in general, how you played from day one. I think huh? you stood out. But... Now the this blind side is gonna be a big part of your story. How do you feel about that? Uh, it sucks, but you know, that blind side, I told myself I can't be Iowa nice and have this aloha spirit in the game. Mm -hmm. And uh I guess it just kind of shows unfortunately who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a game, you know, and uh, I would rather be added to the other list of winners. There's no doubt about it. Um, but, you know, I have uh, those million dollar Danishes and coffees to blame. <laughs> Got it. Keeping me up all night. <laughs> you looked shocked and upset when the votes were counted. But what was going through your mind when Jesse got up and was like, let's let's do a handshake before seeing you out as like a sign of respect? Do I choke slam him into the fire? Do I punch him in the face? You know, a lot of things ran through my head. And um, I took the high road. You know, I love Jesse. We still have a relationship. And that will go on for the rest of our life. So I, I gave him no choice. He made the right move. And um, I can only respect him for that. Mm -hmm. Jesse has a habit of taking island wives, then discarding them. That's what he did with Dwight, and somehow he still managed to get an idol out of him. Were you worried at all that your alliance might end the same way, or you thought what was happening with Dwight was, like, completely different? Nah, because we had watched, we had voted out person after person after person, and... We had a, I felt we had a different relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, the dude's a player. He's good, man. He's a player. Uh, but no, man, from day one, the day on that first beach and that challenge, we looked at each other and said, we're going to start this game together. We finish this game together. And I was like, I'm in. Let's go. Let's do this. And I took it serious. And that was, that was the majority of my strategy and, and plan. And, um, Unfortunately, you know, as a new survivor watcher, you know, ah, shit, my, 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 I got fast tracked in this whole thing. I only watched a few episodes and those episodes consisted of, you know, Adam and Wendell duo going to the end. And it, and it, and one was with, um, I think it was 41, 41 was Xander where, you know, people went to the end and never got any votes. So those things were going through my head. Hey, I can make it to the end, but I need this, I need a signature move. And I didn't need that move. The move didn't need to be made. I had a resume already built. It was an unnecessary move. And um, those two seasons played a lot of, of my decision-making there towards the end. That makes sense. That makes sense. You bet that Owen would win the last gasp because he's cool under pressure, you said. Did you use, what was the evidence of that? Was that the immunity wins or something else that he was doing in the game? Uh, Owen had talked about swimming, you know, in high school. And um, he actually mentioned that challenge a few times. So I was between him and Gabler because Gabler used to surf. And um, so listen, I got to go with the guy that's, been talking about wanting to do this challenge. So it's a pretty easy vote for me. Oh, that makes sense. Did you tell Jesse that you found that advantage? Because we don't see that. You know, I mentioned it to a few people last minute because that thing was found at the last minute before mm -hmm. we left to go to tribal. It was literally, I had made the comment 
I'm not going to sit here and find that someone found it after I gave up and I'm sitting at this fire trying to get a coconut. I went back out there and after I found that, I bet we had less than 20 minutes before we got the heck out of there. So it was at the last night. I mean, yeah, there wasn't much time to communicate with anybody. So yeah, it was pretty hush hush. Oh, wow. Um, so we already talked a little bit of the seasons you did watch already. Do you have like a favorite winner um, in mind that you wanted to like emulate or you just really loved those duos? So I really enjoy, you know, I watched, uh, you know, Tony play and uh, that was someone I could relate to. So, I mean, yeah, brother Tony would be the guy. I think uh, we have a lot of similar traits if you do play again, do you think you'll stick to being a loyal kind of survivor player or will you switch it up? That's a secret. <laughs> I can't That's tell. <laughs> you're going to blow up my next opportunity. Yeah.